Case, and I'm here today with my February 2015 favorites. And this month I have a lot of, not a lot of new things, but a couple new things that I was really excited about and really loving. So here I am about to share them with you. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Let's jump into it now. So at the end of January, my mom gave me and my sister Devin an early Valentine's Day present and she got us both the um, Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I love the first chocolate bar palette so much it's probably my favorite palette of all time. More favorited than this one but this past month I've been trying to use this one out. I used it on my eyes today with a crease color I used Nougat and then I used my Naked Basics for the other colors. But it smells like chocolate guys and if you haven't gone to smell these palettes yet you need to. And a lot of people were saying they didn't like it as much as the first one which is true but it's still amazing and great. If this one was the first one and then this first one was the second one and the second one came out it would be better. What am I saying? I really like um, the color Bon Bon. I really want to try a navy blue color blue color on my eye. I'm interested in trying that out. And I wanted a palette with a blue in it, and this one gave it to me, so I've been loving the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. Mine's broken. It got beat on my travels home from Buffalo, but I don't care. I mean, I do care. I wish it wasn't broken, but it still works the same way, and all my shadows are intact, so it just came on like, hinged. I've been loving some Lush products this month. Uh, last month for my birthday, I ordered a bunch of I ordered a bunch of stuff from Lush with my birthday money and one of the things that I picked up was this uh, Lush color supplement in light pink and it's a foundation and or it works like a foundation and I use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend it in and I've been loving that combination but talking a little bit more about this. When I first got it, I actually filmed a first impression, but this was like a month ago. And I'm going to try to upload that before this video, so it'll be linked down below. But do know that I've had this for enough time to know that I really like it. I've had it all month, and it's, it's really nice. I wish the packaging were a little different. That's the only thing I don't like about it, is it's a pot and you have to like dip into it. But the color for me is perfect. It just gives me like a nice natural sheer, not sheer. A nice natural blurred imperfection look and I really like it and this color is perfect for me. So I got light pink because I have like pink undertones to my skin and this is perfect and I really like it and it's lightweight and it doesn't feel like foundation, it just feels like skin. I love it. So if you like Lush products, try this out. It's really great. A couple other things from Lush that I've been loving is the Enchanted Eye Cream. I use this either at nighttime or in the daytime or both times of day and I just put it under my eyes. A little bit of this goes like a really long way. At first I was like doing a whole entire squirt but now I just kind of tap it <laughs> and I put it under my eyes and on the side of my eyes and on my eyelids. I never used an eye cream before but I decided that I should start trying because it's important and this just makes my eyes look awake and bright and it feels refreshing and it smells kind of weird but I've really been enjoying it. And another Lush product that I picked up was, this is not on all the way, Celestial which is a facial moisturizer and I really like this. It's really helping. I get really dry around my nose and on my face and I use this in the morning or at night if I forget to in the morning and I had never used the moisturizer before but this winter I noticed my skin was super duper dry and this is really really helping and I highly highly recommend this stuff. I got the little pot but it's awesome. One of my other favorite Lush products I picked up was the Kiss and this is a lip scrub and I've been using it every night every day and I eat it off my lips. It's just a sugary pink beautiful little scrub. And it was so fun to use. It's all Valentine's Day themed, which I thought was really cute. And it's delicious. It tastes like cotton candy or something delicious. And it makes my lips feel all like plumped and like awake and it gets my blood flowing through them. It makes them really, really red because I have such sensitive skin. But at night I would use this. I use this to exfoliate my lips and it works really well. And after I exfoliate my lips, I throw on some Vaseline Lip Moist, Lip Therapy. This stuff is really, really moisturizing and it just sits on my lips overnight and keeps them from like crackling and getting dry and gross while I sleep. 
because God knows that I probably sleep with my mouth open sometimes and nasty stuff. So this is great for the winter time too, just to put on before you head out the door because the wind whips and it hurts your face. So you want to keep your lips protected during that hard time. Going back to makeup for a sec. I've been using two products by NYX that I've had for a while. The first one is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, and I have the color, I don't know what it is, but it's good for me. It's got pinky colors, and it really makes my under eyes look really awake and bright, and it works perfectly, and I like this concealer a lot. It does what it's supposed to do. Another NYX product that I've been loving, again, as I've mentioned, my skin's been super duper dry. So I've been using my NYX Rogue Cream Blush in T-Rose. This has been my favorite before, and it's just lovely. It looks kind of gross because it's, you know, a creamy blush, but it's better than putting powder on my face, and it's a really pretty blush color, and I'm wearing it today. Another detail that's been in my night routine along with all my Lush goodies and Vaseline is my, I think this might have been a favorite last month, but my hydrate, Hydrating Moroccan Argan Oil Creamy Oil Body Lotion from Organics. Uh, it's a big bottle. I'm almost done with it, but it smells great. It lets my skin feel nice and moisturized, especially my hands. Like the outer part of my hands always gets dry. This stuff comes to the rescue for me every night and I just lather my body in it. Two nail polishes that were really fun to wear this month were Essie's Playdate and Mod Squared. This one's Playdate, this one's Mod Squared. I really like pink and purple themed things for Valentine's Day rather than red. So these were kind of what I wore in preparation for it and they're just really pretty colors in general for the springtime. Like these are pretty Easter colors or summer colors. I just love these two. I've had them for a while and they're really pretty on their own. I didn't wear them together. That would be a bit much for me. My signature scent of the month has been Coach in Love. I just thought that that was very fitting for the month. I'm gonna put some on right now actually because of Valentine's Day and also Coach in Love has been what I've been wearing and I like it a lot. I have a couple fashion favorites. The first, I believe these were also my favorite last month. I've loved these sunglasses. They're just my favorite sunglasses that I think I'll ever own. They're from Target. They're this nice tortoiseshell matte cute sunglasses and it's been super sunny. Like today is a gorgeous day and I'm so happy the sun is shining and I will be wearing these when I leave my house very shortly. So I love these sunglasses. Also when I went to Buffalo to visit my sister. Uh, we went in this little boutique and it was adorable and I got these, it was called Icing and it's in the mall in Buffalo, if you know what mall I'm talking about. And I got these adorable earrings, they were like only $5. They came with a white, a turquoise, and like a royal navy blue and I have the white ones in my ear right now, I'll just give you like a close up. <laughs> They're chevron and adorable, and I really like them a lot. And I also have been wearing my Southern Proper red and white checkered hat. I think this is going to be a really big summer favorite for mine because I love red and white together. But uh, I ordered this for myself with my birthday money, and I'm really enjoying the Southern Proper hats. They're just adorable, and I wore this one a lot this month, and I can't complain. It was just cute. Moving on to my random non-physical favorites of the month. My favorite YouTube vloggers. I've been really into vlogs over anything this month. I've just really been enjoying the daily life, lifestyle kind of people. And I have a long list of my favorites. <laughs> the first one is La Vida de Meg. And then I've been loving Leanne Says and Keeping Up With Kel, like always. And more of Tess, she's great. And Marissa Lace, love Marissa. She's been doing a good job keeping hers current. Matt and Kaylee again, they just got a puppy and my heart is just like warmed by that little puppy child. <laughs> oh, Marissa also got a new puppy, Brody. He's pretty cute. And I've been loving Rachel Loves, like her videos in general. I've just been really liking them. She doesn't daily vlog, she does like a 10 minute Tuesday kind of thing or something like that, 10 a.m. Tuesdays but I've been loving hers, and Miss Fashion Idea, Ada, Miss Fashion Ada, which is Carrie, who is Tessa's a very good friend, more of Tessa's. So I've been loving their vlogs so, so much. So shout out to you guys loving the vids. 
And for TV, I've been enjoying PLL. It's almost over with. There's three episodes left. Let's just get it over with, I think. By the end of March it will be. So I will fill you in then on what I thought of it and we can talk about it and it'll be great. I've also been enjoying SNL. It's on Netflix right now. It's just the 2010s, but holy crap, that's like one of my favorite casts of all time with Kristen Wiig, Jason Sudeikis. Anyway, I've just been loving SNL. I want to be on SNL. I just think it's great. And they also had their like 40, 40 year? Is that how long it's been? Yeah, the 40 year uh, celebration, which is crazy and amazing at the same time. And also on Netflix, Gilmore Girl, 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 Gilmore Girls is on there and I love Gilmore Girls and I've been power watching it, binge watching it, whatever you want to say. My music favorites have been Just Getting Started by Jason Aldean. And we're just getting started tonight. Uh, mean to Me by Brett Eldridge is such a beautiful song. It's like a perfect wedding song. It's adorable. Then I'd be what you mean to me. And then I've been loving Take It On Back by Chase Bryant. I feel like it's always on the radio, but I love it. Take it on, take it on back. So yeah, those have been my three favorite songs and my favorite foods of the month have been toast with avocado smushed up on it. I put a little lime juice in the avocado, a little salt and pepper, throw it on my toast and it is the best breakfast I've ever eaten in my life. It's delicious. I highly recommend it. Go eat it now. If you like avocados, you will enjoy this meal. I've also been taking a huge liking and obsession as I always do to fish tacos. They're always my favorite and it's Lent now so I have to eat meat on or I have to not eat meat on Friday so I've been eating fish tacos a lot and salmon pump the brakes. I love salmon. And also plain Greek yogurt. I've been able to put that on things and cook with it in a way that makes it uh, like sour cream in a way. It's just good. It, you can use it for anything and I love it. And my favorite events this month were I got into this, the College of Nursing that I've been trying to get into for a while and I'm excited. I'm going to be starting there in August and like words cannot describe how excited I am to begin nursing school. And I found out on Valentine's Day that I got in and I was like, this is the best Valentine's Day I've ever had. And also my other favorites were Devin came into town. She actually came into town Valentine's Day weekend when I found out. So that was special having her here for that moment. And also my friends came to town, Becca and Alana, and then I went up to SU with them and hung out with my sorority sisters. and. We went to our sorority date night, which was so much fun. Um, just going to an old college bar and hanging out with my besties. It was just like blast from the past. It was so much fun. And I also went to the SU versus Pitt game, but we lost and it sucked. But I really enjoyed going to the game with my friends and I just was happy that I got to go. And you will see that footage in my vlogs coming soon. I think that's it guys. So thanks for watching my February favorites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite thing was this month. I'd like to know what the funnest thing you did this month. So let me know what that was down below. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me and I will talk to you guys on another time. Bye. And uh, facial moisturizer. If I could be the reason Why is it just that Why? Why? Rouge. Here, here is a, an example. Mm. Oh, my hands are so dry. Um, plastic.
cast in the mouth. This vlog is my birthday week. It's my birthday week. You like how that up underneath you is a bowl? Like it's my birthday week. It's my birthday week.